All right, this is part two of how to read notes on the musical staff uh, for G clef. And we established this as the G clef because it wraps around this second line and it shows us where G is. And from there, we can go up the staff, line space, line space, according to the musical alphabet and figure out any other pitch. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So this fifth line is a high F. But what if we need extra high notes or extra low notes? Here's how we can do that. So this line is, above, is on the fifth line. To go higher than that, there's one more note that we can, we can use. And there's no more spaces, but we can sit it on top of this fifth line. So we'll call this above the fifth line. Okay, if this is F, this is G. From there, we've run out of lines, we've run out of spaces but there are, we can add extra lines to create extra high notes. And so I'll just make a short line. It's spaced at the same spacing as the other lines. And we're going to call this a ledger line. Okay, so this note was on top of the fifth line. This we're going to make this note first ledger line above the staff, okay? And then we can make one more higher note with one ledger line, and we can go above the first ledger line. To go higher than that, we would need to add an additional ledger line, so I'm going to draw two lines, and we can center it right across that second ledger line. So this note is second ledger line above the staff, and then I can go another note higher by doing two ledger lines and above that second ledger line. Okay, and then we're still using the musical alphabet. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is A, B, C, D. So no matter how high it goes, and it can go as high as we want, we can figure out any note that way. We use the same system for low notes. So G, F, E, and then the note below the first line is D. This note is below the first line, it's D. To go lower than that, I need to make a ledger line. Place this note across this first ledger line. And then I can make another note lower by placing it below the first ledger line. And then we need to go, if we need to go lower, we can do a second ledger line and below the second ledger line. Clarinets can go all the way down as far as this note. So clarinets will need to get good at reading these lower notes especially. Trumpets will have some notes down there. Flutes go down as far as this. Uh, and saxophones go down as far as this note. Um, so to do this we're going to go backward in the musical alphabet. D, C, B, A, G, F, and E. So we have below the first line, first ledger line below the staff, below the first ledger line, second ledger line below the staff, below the second ledger line, third, li third ledger line below the staff, and below the third ledger line is E, and clarinets do play all the way down there. So that's how we read ledger lines for extra high notes and extra low notes in G clef.